I am Michael Reinewesser, the president of the BTI Consulting Group, and we're delighted to have you here. If you look at the amount of money under AFA structures, it's gone from $12.4 billion in 2012 to roughly $22.4 billion in 2016. So this is about a 16% growth rate. And I know as I'm presenting this, as I have talked in many times in person, I'm hearing that, you know, Michael, there's a lot of clients out there when I talk to them about AFAs, they don't get real excited, they don't want to put the effort into it, they don't want to understand it, and that is absolutely right. Because if you look at the blue line on this chart, what you'll see is the number of companies using AFAs is actually going down. It was at 79% in 2012, and it went down to 66% in 2016. The reason being is that it is the large companies with the big litigation budgets that have embraced AFAs. Everybody else that has a small budget, um, it's not worth their time, depending on the law firm. It's not worth their energy, and they're not going to put the energy to find the savings. But those with have the big budgets, that is where the savings are, and those also make you know very attractive clients.